After eight years of the NDP Liberal Prime Minister, over 200,000 British Columbians are using the food bank every month. On April Food Fool's Day, BC NDP Premier David Eby will raise the carbon tax on the people of BC by 23 percent, as his friend the Prime Minister has made him do. This BC NDP Liberal Carbon Tax Coalition will cost British Columbians billions at a time when they can least afford it. Since none of the 15 Liberal MPs from BC will stand up to spike the hike, will they at least call a carbon tax election so Canadians can vote to axe the tax? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm very happy to stand up for British Columbians on this. British Columbians led the way with a price on pollution. It was Gordon Campbell, a right-wing premier in B.C., who actually put in place the first price on pollution, led Canada, was a leader in the world. My goodness, it is a shame to see British Columbians like that who deny the reality of climate change. I agree very much with David Eby when he says we should stop listening to the baloney factory over there. <laughs> Speaker would like to hear the question from the member from Chilliwack Hope and the response that will be offered in answer to that. The Honourable Minister, a member. Well, Mr. Speaker, after 15 years of that NDP Liberal plan, emissions are up and British Columbians continue to get poorer. The, the BC NDP budget says that $9 billion will be taken from British Columbians over the next three years. They'll only give $3 billion back in rebates, pocketing the extra $6 billion. The, this carbon tax coalition is, all, is making the most expensive place in the country more expensive to live by jacking up the price of gas groceries and home heating. So why don't they give Canadians a voice and allow us to vote to spike the carbon tax? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. The party is entitled to its opinion. Order. I'm going to ask, encourage, I'm going to encourage members, especially the member from Kingston, the Islands, please, to not have a conversation across the way. That also goes for members on this side in responding. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I say, the Conservative Party is certainly entitled to its own opinions, but it is not entitled to its own facts. Emissions are down. Canada is growing a clean growth economy for the future. I was in Germany earlier this week, and the German government told me that Canada is a model for the world in the fight against climate change and the work to address the, the, the issue that is an existential threat and to blow up green economy. We signed an agreement on hydrogen that is going to create jobs and economic opportunity in Atlantic Canada because we believe in climate change. We are fighting climate change 